okay so welcome to my videos in this video i'll share to you guys the tutorial how to perform the naive bias classifier algorithm in rapid minor okay so as usual before we get into the tutorial i will share to you guys a little bit or i can say generally about this naive bias classifier okay so first thing first this naive bias classifier algorithm is based on the bias theorem Yep, you guess it right. This algorithm is based on that probability theorem that we always talk about. We all know this theorem because this is like one of the most basic uh, theory, theorem and statistic, or I can say in any probability fields. If we talk about probability, we will also talk about this theorem. Okay, not just that, but this bias or naive bias classifier algorithm is also uh, popular for its for its ease and simplicity although this classification provide classification result equivalent to decision tree and neural network but this naive bias classifier also provide speed in processing data in large quantities and this naive bias classifier also assumed that the present or absent of a feature in a class is independent Independent mean in here, uh, the feature in the class has no connection to the existence of other feature from the same data. So that's why, because that assumption and this naive bias is so easy and simple, that's why these classifiers don't have any hyperparameter to tune. Different way, you know, like neural network or SVM, we need to tune some hyperparameter. For example, in neural network, we need to tune the uh, learning rate or the momentum. But for this naive bias classifier algorithm, we don't need to tune anything in here. We can see this in here also. There is no uh, parameter to tune except this Laplace correction, but we will just uh, keep this in check because this Laplace correction is avoid the naive bias classifier weakness you guys can see the description and so that's why it is like one of the most this algorithm is like one of the, one of the most basic classifying algorithm in machine learning okay so let's just get right into the tutorial uh, so as usual before we perform anything in rapid rapid minor we need to write read the data first and in this case i will write read the data using the read csv operator because the data that i use in this case is the data in the csv file type so i will just import it right away it's the last directory and the data that i use in this case is the herd this is data from kaggle.com i will put the link uh, in the description so this is the data the output in here is the level and in here the output still in the integer type so we need to change it to the binomial because this is binomial not integer okay binomial because I haven't set the level, the output as the level, so I need to set the level. We uh, can also set this, uh, set the level in this reach SV operator, but we also can use the set role operator. Okay, I will set the output variable as a level. Okay, after you set the label, uh, in this case, I will use the holdout validation to validate this algorithm. We also can use the k-fold cross-validation or cross-validation uh, for validating the model, but in this case, I will just use the holdout or split data validation. If you guys want to know more, uh, if you guys want to know uh, more much about this uh, validation thing in the rapid minor, you guys can check my previous videos. I already made uh, the videos about validate validating um, algorithm in rapid minor, 
and for this case I will just split data or hold out validation using the split data operator and in this case I think I'm just going to split the 70% for uh, data training and 30% or 0.3 for the data testing okay don't forget to connect the data to the split data operator and for the 70% data we need to uh, connect the data training to the naive bias algorithm operator to the training connector in here and for the testing data or for the 30% data we will connect that data to the apply model operator okay let's connect the 30% data to the unlabeled connector from the apply model uh, operator and for the mode connector in here we will connect this operator we will connect this connector with this mode connector from the training thing training data we will connect this and after that we will see the how well the algorithm using the performance operator in here we can uh, use the performer classification because this case is the classification thing uh, I mean classification case and we also can use the performance binomial classification because uh, the data itself is the binomial but I will just use the classification here and for the factor I think I'll just I'm just gonna use the accuracy we can do uh, we can uh, choose another factor but in this case I'll just use the accuracy okay we'll connect this lab and I will connect the per or performance connector to the uh, output and the exa or example connector uh, to the output and just run it and this is the example set or this uh, output in here we can see the output and the prediction output is from the data and the prediction is the prediction data from this algorithm and this is it and for the performance factor we got 78.02% for accuracy using this naive bias algorithm uh, of course uh, for classifying things I think 78% is already decent it's already quite good but yeah we can also uh, improve this accuracy for example using if the data is imbalanced we can use the uh, balancing method for example smooth or anything uh, I also already make a video about balancing data in rapid manner you guys can check it if you want and that's pretty much it this is how you guys perform the naive bias algorithm in rapid minor i think that's all thank you for watching these videos uh, thank you guys